another important thing that you should know here is what does uh, what format does a mainframe store so when you are working especially on the window system yes as an etl developer or as an uh, etl qa uh, you'll be mostly working on the windows environment right here what is happening here how the data is being stored what are the character set that you are using right so this character set is really very important why because especially when you are installing any of the oracle software sql server software related to the database the first during install installation it will ask you for the character set right so normally we select an ask key or a code page so this is what it ask right so so in indos all the data is stored in an ascii format that is american standard code for information interchange so this is the format that particular operating system can understand and what about the mainframe operating system that is zos operating system what it can understand what how the data is stored inside what is a character set that is using the character set that it is using is an epsidic format that we call it as a extended binary coded decimal interchange code so this is the character set format or the data that resides on the mainframe so can i if if we download this epsidic format to the windows and if you are directly using into your respective tools or uh, any other operation that you wanted to perform or a task that you want to perform you cannot the data will be in an epsidic format so you cannot read that and you cannot understand that so what do we need to do so in order to have this uh, converted to in an ascii format right so in order to do this so we have several techniques we will be we can perform here so one is in the etl tool itself you will be having an a uh, conversion so that converts an uh, epsidic to ascii format or uh, during an a uh, transmission transmitting a file from mainframe system to your windows system or a windows server where the file wanted to get transmitted so there itself we can trans uh, convert the file from epsidic to ascii so here we use two techniques there is a ftp ftp is one of the transmission technique that we use to transfer a file from a mainframe to uh, windows so here itself the ftp will take care of uh, transmitting the file into an ascii format so that you can directly use it the another is an axway we call it as axway transmission here also the same way that converts an epsidic format to ascii and then the data will be transmitted safely right so these are the two different ways and uh, you may ask right okay uh, the tra data is transmitted in epsidic so i wanted to use convert this in ascii yes you have an uh, several utilities that are available in the market you can just get that installed and uh, you can convert that particular epsidic file format to an ascii format and then you can use it in your respective system for processing so this is i thought like this is needed uh so that it can be helpful to you why because i have seen many of them facing the challenges if they try to read the data and it's in epsidic format and that cannot be understand so then they came back and they go back and see so okay it's in epsidic so we cannot read it so then again the the file need to be retransmitted by converting an epsidic to ascii format then they can start reading the data